Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mia Monet, and today I have a very, very special and different video for you guys. Now, this video really just came up on a whim because I was going through my closet and I had found this box. Now, back in 2020, I decided that I had a lot of stuff in my room that I necessarily didn't want to throw away, but it was just all over the place. So I decided to buy a box and call it my memory box. So I haven't looked through this box since I bought it. Now I've been putting stuff in there every now and again, but every time I put something in there, I don't actually go through and look to see what's in the box. So today, Three years later, we finna see what's in this box and I'm finna go through it with you guys. Okay, so here's the box. It's really, really big and heavy. Um, it is full, so I do need to get another one, but let me go ahead and open it up. See, it's a lot of stuff in here, so let's go ahead and get started. The first item that I saw when I opened the box was this little lanyard card. Um, I got this when I had went to my TSU orientation and I was on the green team. Um, this was definitely an experience because you only go to college one time and orientation, especially at TSU, was definitely lit and it was a great um, beginning start to my college uh, journey. So yeah, I decided to keep this. The next couple items that I saw when I opened the box were my senior pictures oh my goodness i hated these pictures because one thing about me if you know me i am not photogenic and these were my first professional pictures that i took and i didn't even have an idea on an outfit or nothing but i'm gonna show you guys a couple of them don't judge me but yeah here goes one i wanted to take one in my senior shirt uh here goes another one oh it is so like not too much and then the last one i'm gonna show you guys is this one my little track picture but yeah if i had a redo to do my senior pictures i would definitely do it because now i know like what i would do but yeah here's another thing out of my memory box <laughs> this next item is kind of funny because it's not mine but it's this little it's supposed to be like a christmas ornament where you could put like string through there and put on your Christmas tree. But my brother actually got this from his job at Kirby Risk and he really wasn't gonna keep it. So I decided to keep it to um, remember, not really remember, but like have something about 2020. And if you can tell, it has like social distancing. It has um, home workouts, YouTube, stay home, FaceTime, food delivery, uh, a travel ban, Amazon, your tent. Like I thought it was really, really, really cute. So I decided to keep it. So yeah, the next item that I pulled out of the box is all of my college acceptance letters. I'm not actually going to turn them around because on the envelope it does have my address, but I got accepted into Ball State, um, ISU, I got accepted into Kentucky State, and TSU. Oh my, <laughs> this next thing I'm going to show y'all is going to be so embarrassing please don't do too much but the next thing i pulled out was this envelope that says the parent to the parents of mia adams and i was like why do i have this in my memory box when i opened it and seen the pictures that fell out y'all <laughs> please don't do too much please 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 don't do too much so first we're gonna start off with <laughs> mind you i was in elementary school so not too much but we're gonna start off with this picture <laughs> oh my god that is so embarrassing but if you know you know like i went to holy angels and we used to have like this program it was like a i don't know what to call it but basically the college kids at marion university which was the closest college ca catholic college to my elementary school they would come and like mentor the um elementary school kids and this was my mentor i forget her name but she was like so 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 nice um so yeah this is me and her what did i have on look at my hair then y'all whoever did my hair this day anyways this is <laughs> i am so embarrassed this is what i looked like for my eighth grade graduation photo i'm gonna i'm gonna show it for like a quick second <laughs> oh! y'all i was hit 
hit like who told me to do my hair like that but we finna move on we finna move on then um here goes me and my eighth grade class like i said before i went to a catholic um middle school it was st michael's so here's us and then here goes me and my senior graduation um don't mind my face because when they told me we were taking a picture i was so confused so that's why i looked the way i look but here goes me the tall queen that i am period and i also <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I also found the picture of my first dog. Oh my god, her name was Lexi. Not too much on the uh quality of the photo. The next item I have is this envelope. I'm not going to say too much about this envelope only because a lot of people from my high school do watch my videos and some of them haven't graduated or went to their senior retreat yet. But just know whatever's in this envelope made me cry during my senior retreat when you get there you will understand trust me the next thing in my box is this little heart i don't know if you could tell what it says but it says i heart mia and during my senior year i forget what the class is called but i think it's like teacher's ed or something like that and basically in the class um it's mostly for people who want to become a teacher but i heard the class was easy and an easy credit but instead of taking the regular class, I took the college class. And the college class was way more harder than the regular, if that makes sense. So basically, we will have to like read a book, you know what I'm saying, do essays and stuff. And then towards the end of the semester, we will actually go inside of a classroom and teach them. Well, we'll watch the teacher and see how she teaches. And then the last final project, we will have to actually teach the students. So I went to my old elementary school, Holy Angels, and I taught third graders. And me and this girl, like, we bonded. So she ended up making me this, and it says, I heart Mia, and I decided to keep it. The next things that I have in my box is just these coloring pages. Um, the main reason why I kept these is because me and my dad did them together. And I decided, I don't know, <laughs> it was kind of corny, but I was like, oh, since me and my dad did it together, I don't want to just throw it away. So I just put it in my box. The next thing I decided to keep was my high school track shirt. Now, if you know, I was on the varsity track team all four years, and they will always say, like, turn in your shirt, turn in your shirt, turn in your shirt. But every, like, I will always forget, like, at the end of the year to not turn in my shirt. So they was like, you know what, just use it for next year, use it for next year. My senior year, I was like, since I really didn't get to do what I wanted to do, I'm going to keep a little memory of my track experience. So I decided to keep the shirt. I don't know if they know. But yeah, I definitely kept the track shirt. And speaking of track, I might as well go ahead and show y'all all my awards that I've won. So first, I wanna start off with my all conference award. I got two of these actually, one for the 100 meter dash and one for the four by, I think it was the four by one. It was either the four by one or the four by four. I cannot remember. And they didn't label these. It was just all the same like all conference award. Um, the next three medals I got, these are my um, varsity medals. So every time you get on the varsity team, they give you a medal. The reason why I only have three and not four is because my junior year was during COVID, so we did not have a track season. The next award I got was when we had our banquet, and I got my four-year varsity award which I'm obviously gonna keep. I also got another award, but I cannot find it. Like it was an actual trophy, but I don't know where it's at. And then I had got my ribbons. And when I tell you, I've got all places. The blue is first place. The red is second place. The, the white is third place. Yellow is fourth. Green is fifth. <laughs> Green is fifth. Orange is sixth. Brown is seventh. And this white and black one is eighth. So I've gotten it all. I've been through every single zone. But yeah, those are all my track awards. The next couple items I'm going to show you guys is kind of random. But I decided to keep like all the name tags from all the jobs I worked at. And the main reason I decided to do this is because one thing about me, I've worked a lot of jobs. But yeah, the first name tag is the one from McDonald's. It's just a simple name tag with my name on it. This one was a little more fancy and it's the one from Panera. 
Then the last name tags I decided to keep was the one from Marshalls. And I have three of these. And one thing about Marshalls name tags, you will lose these so fast. Because Marshalls, you don't have like a dress code. You literally come in in regular clothes. This is your dress code, is your name tag. But I will always lose them. But one thing about the Marshalls I worked at, that they didn't really care too much about it. Because they'll just make you a new one, obviously. And then I'll find it like two days later. But yeah, the next couple of items um, I'm about to show you guys is back on track of 2020 and it's just masks. The main reason why I kept these is because like when I get older, like grandma-ish age for my kids and my grandkids, I want to tell them about 2020 and I live through it. And if they need proof, baby, here's the proof. Just like with this, like you just know that you just live through it. You just need stuff to remind you that you live through it. This is what this is for. The next thing in my memory box is my CLD certificate. And if you don't know what CLD is, CLD is basically um, a program to help like black kids with their SATs, S SATs, ACTs, to help them um, apply to colleges, decide what college you want to go to, what career path you want to go towards, help them with their speeches, basically just prepare them for the real world out there and my dad put me in it during my senior year he put me through the um self-discovery program so that basically is for kids who don't know what they want to do with their life to help them um decide what career path is best for them so here is my certificate for that and i also got a little pendant the next thing i'm gonna show you guys is this certificate and i don't know and if you saw that little picture of me being in that mentors program here is my certificate of my completion and on the date at the bottom it says april 21st 2014 so it was so long ago i also have my graduation um diploma from eighth grade and i graduated from saint michael's and i have my high school diploma and i graduated from cardinal ritter i also have my um indiana state graduation license just to re um ensure that i did graduate high school um i also have three different yearbooks i'm not gonna actually go through these but yeah i did get them signed though so you could tell like but yeah you can tell this is my yearbook. I got them signed front and back. So yeah. And the last and final thing in my memory box is all, well, when I decided, so the 2020, ever since 2020 till now, all my birthday cards, graduation cards that anybody has wrote into me or gave to me, I decided to keep. Um. So yeah. So yeah, that's everything in my memory box. Um, if you have any like small things in your room that you want to keep, but at the same time it's like cluttered in your room, I highly, highly recommend you going to TJ Maxx or Marshall. That's where I got my bin from or any retail store, honestly, and get you a box and just put it in the box. Cause I trust me later on, like two, three, four, five years later, you're going to go through this box. Like, dang, I'm really, really happy that I kept this and I could show like my family down the line. But yeah, that's all that I have for this video. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.